Hey guys, welcome to the 29th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for Lin in Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you um, how to use the partial keyword. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a class. And inside of our class right here, we have two fields. We have a string name, which equals Mr. Smith, and we have an integer age, which equals 38. Say we wanted to finish defining this class in another file. Well, in order to do that, we'd have to make this class partial. To make your class partial, you're just going to want to type the partial keyword before um, your, the keyword class. So now, if we were to create another partial class with the same name, it would combine the two classes together to make one class. And you would be able to use um, the things inside of both of the classes. So if we go over here and create um, a new class file, and we have um, a partial class with the same name as the other one and it has um, two more fields inside of this one it will combine these two classes together and inside of um, my class we now have a string hair color and we have a bool classes we also have um, a string name and we have an integer age so if we go over here and create a new instance of our class we should have age, classes, hair color, and name. So as you can see, it just combined the two classes together. You can also use the partial keyword on methods. So if we were to create a partial method here, and it will just display a message to the user, then when we create a partial method, we cannot provide implementation for it, meaning we cannot um, put curly braces down. We have to do that in another partial class. So if we go over to this other partial class here, and we create another partial method called string, or we have this uh, partial method with the same signature, meaning it has the same name and the same parameters, then we can um, just actually provide implementation for this class so we can have a display a message box to the user and I found this really cool way to uh, type out message box instead of saying uh, or instead of like typing out like system.windows.forms message box you can just type out mbox and then click tab twice and we'll type that out all out for you alright so now we want it to display a message box with the same string that the user provides so we're just going to put a message in here However, you cannot put access modifiers on partial methods, so we can only use this method inside of this class. But we could create another public method that will display this message to the user. So we can have it call this void right here and then display the message to the user. So we'll just say message, we'll call this void, and then we'll have it display the message that the user provides. So in order to have a partial method that does have implementation, you must first create a partial method that does not. And both of these methods must have the same signature, meaning they must have the same um, name and the same parameters. And as you can see, they do. Also remember, you cannot have any access modifiers on a partial method, meaning you cannot put like public here or protected or something like that, we'll get an error. So they will always remain private. So as you can see here, we created this um, public method that we'll call this private one. So let's test it out to see if it'll work. So let's just create a new instance of my class. And then we'll do mc.showMessage. So now, we'll just have it display my name, I guess. And yep, should be good now. So we debug here, click this button, and we should just get a message box that says that. Yep. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on the partial keyword. So see you guys.